Today we're going to take a look at a distribution called Venom Linux. It is BSD inspired and it's styled after BSD as well, meaning that it's simple, fast and minimalistic. Okay, so here is what you're greeted with when you log into the actual live USB. You get greeted with this welcome screen, which tells you that Venom Linux is a source based Linux distribution built from scratch, uh, make for daily use targeted uh, experienced users. So basically, if you're a new user, new to Linux user, this is not one for you, this is one for seasoned veterans. This distro is inspired by Crux, or Crux.nu, of its simplicity and KISS philosophy. KISS meaning keep it simple, stupid. Uh, this, distribution, this distro is used the BSD style in it and has a main in it and BSD-like port system for packages. Packages are managed by its own package manager called Scratch Package that has dependencies, uh, checking, and it's full written in POSIX shell script. Features, it's highly customizable. Multi-lib, yes, Steam and Wine is in the repo. You can create your own local repos and ports on top of the existing one. Writing packages, ports is dead simple. Packages is, la is latest stable development. Semi-rolling release. Man, pa man pages are compressed. Lib tool files is removed by default. It can be changed using scratchpackage.conf. Binaries and libraries are stripped. Precompiled packages can be installed to other machines that use Venom Linux. It got rid of junks. Uh, pack package is minimal as possible and uh, usable at the same time. So, and if there's a quick uh, Venom installation can be done by running Venom installer or in a terminal or TTY or clicking install through the open box menu. So we are going to look at the actual open box menu right now. And this is, so it's using the open box window manager obviously and this is the open box menu right here click over here let's move this off to the side here to where i can get a better better term here you go so and right here it says install venom so we're going to click that and it's going to open up that's pretty awesome the end curses installer so we're going to set our keyboard well, actually let's move this here front and center here a little bit let's actually close this window and we're going to set our keyboard, which is going to be set to US. Oh, sorry. You, you, you. Hang on. We're going to do this again. Uh, K Dev GPT. We're gonna make a new partition. It's gonna be 512. Dang it. 512 megabytes. Bam. We're gonna make another new partition. This is gonna be four gigs. Let's go here, type, and we're gonna change this to, or swap, Linux swap. And we're gonna go up to the next one. We're gonna change that one to EFI. EFI, and then this one, new. We're gonna do the 20 gigabytes. And we're going to change the file type and we're going to make it a. Oops. Uh, is it, did I have e, like ext4? No. We're going to make it a Linux file system. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to write to this. Are you sure you want to write the partition to the disk? Yes, we are. All right. Are you sure you want to write to this? Oh, we got to type in. Yes. Has been altered. Okay, so now we're going to go to quit. 
choose partition for root. We are going to choose that 20 gigger. Yes, we are. Uh, and this is where we're going to set it to either BTRFS, EXT4. So let's go ahead and do, let's just stick with the EXT4. I mean, you could do BTRFS, which is a, which is a good compression file system. And it also works with time shift and all that good stuff. So, but anyhow, we're just going to keep EXT4. We're going to hit okay. Uh, swap, swap partition found. Do you want to use it? We're going to click yes. And that's definitely the partition we're going to do. Set our time zone. We're going to do okay. We're going to go to America and we're going to go to, can I type in? Aha, uh -huh. La Paz, we're gonna go to Los Angeles. We're gonna hit that. Uh, set our host name. We're gonna type it as Venom Linux. We're gonna hit no space, okay. We're gonna set our locale. And we are going to go to, let's see how we do for US. No English, where's US? There it is. English US, UTC, local time, UTC, okay. Root password, we are going to put in something very strong, very, very nice. Try that again. Enter the password to, con to confirm it. Okay, yes we do. Yes, we do. And then we're gonna settings. Yes, 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 yes. And we're going to install Venom. User account. Okay, Venom is gonna be Alex. Password. And then now we're gonna to go to install. Be created set as boot button. Okay, so now we can quit out of this. Okay, 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 okay. And now let's try this install. Yes, there we go. And now it's installing. So I'll pause the video now, and when it's done, I'll restart again, okay? Okay, so it finished installing, and so and that took about, uh, I'd say about six, seven minutes. And so now we're gonna hit okay, and it's gonna wanna reboot. Wow. So it's going to want us to type in our, oops. And just like that, we're in. Now, this is it. This is it right here. It's very simple, very minimalistic. Uh, it does not have a lot of stuff in it. In fact, um, when you go to... To here, this is really basically it. Uh, down here, if you uh, you got a panel at the bottom, right, which is probably the tint two panel. But uh, anyhow, so like it has four virtual desktops that you could cycle through by clicking on it here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm on one, and then it's got your time and date down here at the bottom. So uh, and here's your clock. Uh, if you click on it, this is what it tells you, and it's set to. 14 you know uh, military standard time when open it uses open box desktop uh window manager so when you right click on it this is where you get your menu here you could do your um customized look and feel which is kind of cool when you i do the arc shadow which makes it completely dark instead of like the arc darker which has the white background here so do the arc shadow right you can set your colors your icon themes your mouse cursors window borders actual fonts and you have a couple of other things here that you can do that you can set in here so i'm gonna hit apply so it stays that way we're gonna close that out so then 
it has your in the top half of the menu uh, generated menu uh, drop down here. You have terminal file manager, win web browser, you, uh, run command. So you can click that and it's kind of like a like a tasker. So you can type in like um, Firefox, which I'm sure is what's installed. And it'll launch Firefox just like that. So let's go ahead while we're here and take a look and see what version of Firefox we're on. And it's 1.04, so there you go. It's a little bit of an older di uh, distribution of Firefox, uh, version of Firefox, but it's in the stable, stable category. So uh, either way, so there's that. Then, uh, so for Terminal, wow, uh, it's got NeoFetch installed right off the bat. Uh, and it's also got here what tells you about how much of your file system you're using, which is nice and what's mounted. So. That is pretty cool, and where it's and its mount points at. So that's awesome. This here, uh, it ha it uses Venom Linux 4.0. Uh, it's five, kernel 515 for it's an LTS version. Uh, it's using Bash. Uh, the resolution is 1280 by 800, which I I could fix through X render. Uh, I'm just doing a light review of this. Uh, like I said, it's it's relatively new. Uh, it uses OpenBox for Window Manager. The theme is ArcoBox. Uh, the terminal's X term, and I'm using my Ryzen 5, and I've given it four gigs of RAM. So there you go. Now, under accessories, it comes with uh, for your file managers PC Man FM. It's got LeafPad and PyCom. For the, which PyCom is nice because you can. Oh no, no, no! It didn't do that. So you probably got to go through your file manager to to actually. Um, adjust it or to make configurations in PyCom where you can give it rounded corners, transparency, all that good stuff. Uh, under development, it uses Genie. For network, it's got Firefox. For settings, you've got your customized look and feel. You got your desktop preferences, open box configuration manager and preferred applications. I already took a look at the customized look and feel, open box configuration manager we can take a look at. And this is also how to theme it and also how to put a dock at the bottom if you want, all that good stuff. Uh, then under uh, preferred applications, if you click on that, this is where you can set your default mail client, which it doesn't have one at all because the, they, of course, only minimized enough for you to be able to install it and then get online to do and download whatever packages it is that you need from the repos. Uh, and that's exactly how you use Scratchpad uh, or Scratch PKG, which is their package manager. So there's that. Um, and then under system, you have your file manager, you got GM run, you got Gparted, HTOP, UX term, and X term terminal under advanced settings. You got your uh, open box menu generator, which just can give you these themes, the menu config, uh, different types of menus that you could generate, and you can refresh your cache. And then under open box, you got the open box auto start, open box RC, open box menu, and you can reconfigure open box. So these are all settings on which you can do. These two right here are different settings that you can do for uh, de customizing your open box. And then under power, you have your actual power management sessions, such as logout, reboot, and shutdown. Now, uh, it's fast, it's minimal, and it's absolutely, completely bare. It is intended 100% for you to set it up the way you want to install your favorite applications and stuff. And the way you do it is by going to the, using the uh, uh, cloning a repo in from your favorite package, whatever, like whether it's OBS, whether it's Firefox or Brave or whatever, you download it, then you use the PKG build, which is built into it through Scratchpad. That's what Scratch does. It's basically Scratch PKG, dash i like um like uh, uh what you call it um pac-man sorry pac-man for aur and you give it your arguments and then all of a sudden bam it it just installs it into a directory and then you use uh pkg add to add it to the system you know with the package name add it to the system and then 
away you go. It'll be in your in your menus and stuff. You can regenerate your menus, and then it's there through OpenBox. So that's a brief description uh, and a brief look at Venom Linux, which, like I said, I, I, I just downloaded it. I'm going to play with it a little bit try to figure some stuff out and then I can do a more comprehensive overview. I'm just kind of giving you the, the rough knowledge of what I read and found about it. So um, it's a, it looks to be a, a pretty basic and, and simple launching pad for a great distribution that you make for yourself. As I've, as I've said with lots of distributions, that's why I like the window managers is because um, the best Linux distribution that you could have is the one where you put in it what you want, not what other people want for you to have. It's basically what you want, you put it in, you make it yours. That's the best Linux distribution ever because you cannot de detract any way, shape, or form from it because it's what you put in it. So anyhow, guys, if you haven't used Venom, go ahead and download it. Give it a whirl uh, as long as it's something you're comfortable using. Of course, as a season linux user if you're new to linux um you can just certainly do it but just know that you may have some steep learning curves to figure out here as you go along either way stay blessed stay healthy y'all have a great new year and y'all keep doing what you do and keep on linuxing